Geography becomes attractive for both science as well as arts background students. It is the combination of scientific rigor and the expressiveness of the humanity subjects. As a subject, the area is wide. If you are just preparing, you will get lost in the preparation and your overall orientation gets disturbed. For covering these topics of paper 1 and paper 2, one has to refer those comprehensive sources which gives in-depth understanding as well as a wide coverage. See, every subject has a way of expression and geography's way of expression is through maps and figures. According to me, in every answer, one can add a figure or a map. So, for those who are appearing for mains this year, so please focus on answer rating aspect and also bringing the current updation. <laughs>
so that is also another factor in addition to that what kind of value addition it gives in general studies papers because few of the optionals contribute a lot in general studies papers also finally comes whether it is scoring or not why i am keeping this scoring part in the last because according to me every optional is scoring every optional will have their own topper provided you have done efforts in the right direction okay people consider the scoring as first is sal ye scoring zyada ho raha hai chalo ye optional choose kar lete okay that is totally wrong how much interest you have in that particular subject this is the most important criteria one has to consider if one is confused between two optional in spite of considering the first and second factors so then only they have to think about the scoring and other factors sir if we go by the past year trends we have seen that geography optional has remained one of the most preferred optionals among the aspirants so what are the factors that have contributed to this so geography is one of the most commonly chosen optional the reasons the first reason i would like to say geography becomes attractive for both science as well as arts background students because geography is a subject which is both science as well as arts it is the combination of scientific rigor and the expressiveness of the humanity subjects the second important factor geography as a subject is most practical and most relatable whatever you study in the subject you can see it outside you can correlate it's very easy to relate outside and third it is a subject with a scientific and methodological study if one gives time it is not that difficult to understand this in addition to all of this of course it has been scoring so this year's 2023s top score was 323 and consistently in the last few years it has crossed 300 at the same time it contributes to a very great extent in general studies in general studies paper 1 as well as paper 3 and most importantly there is a very good support system for geography optional in terms of the material or coaching so the geography optional then becomes very interesting for civil service uh, preparation so suppose a person or an aspirant has chosen geography optional now what is the most effective way to approach geography optional preparation so one has to start with the most basic things in geography so before they start the actual optional topics one has to be clear with ncrts okay so the step 0 i would say is start with ncrts cover all the ncrts from 6th standard to 12th standard thoroughly so basically cover the general studies topics of geography thoroughly then actual preparation of geography optional begins one has to be thoroughly aware of the topics which are present in the syllabus and in geography optional syllabus one sees and in geography optional syllabus if you see there is a detailed topics which are given and one has to be very clear and one has to remember all of these topics as it is and then start the preparation use standard source as well as the support available to cover widely all the topics and how to understand the depth required there you can refer the pre previous years question papers so that gives you an idea how much in how much of depth you have to prepare in each of the topics last but not the least one has to give enough time for answer writing because as a subject the area is wide if you are just preparing you will get lost in the preparation and your overall orientation gets disturbed to understand the demand of upsc one has to practice answer writing on regular basis so as you mentioned about pyqs so how important are pyqs for geography optional and how should our aspirant approach pyqs for geography optional so if one goes through the previous years questions of geography optional one can clearly understand there are many repetitive themes in the the syllabus which has been focused upon multiple times we can narrow down those areas 
and prepare in depth for any kind of questions. In addition to that, there are many gaps in the syllabus. Few of the topics which is not mentioned in the syllabus, still it comes in the examination. That we will be able to identify by going through previous year's questions. And in terms of understanding the depth of topics, because geography as a subject, it is very wide. But you don't have to read every topic in a deeper manner. To understand the depth of topic, what is the nature of questions, we have to understand this. If you go through the pre previous year's questions, so this becomes easier. In addition to this, there is also the necessity of interlinking the geography subject with other areas. The social aspects, environmental aspects, economic aspects, as well as with respect to current affairs. If you go through the previous papers, in which areas we need to give more focus for this kind of interlinking, that we will understand. So, as you mentioned about this interdisciplinary approach, that is a very important segment of geography optional. Also linking it with the current affairs. So, how should our aspirant approach this segment? So, interrelating geography with other areas is very much important in optional also. When it comes to the other areas, there are three important areas which correlates well with geography. One is environment, another one is economics, third one is society. And these areas are required to be seen from the practical aspect, particularly when we talk about the human geography as well as Indian geography. In these two sections of geography optional, one has to give practical emphasis to this interrelation. It means that we don't have to go into detail in understanding the other subjects. Of course, we are going to see this from geography's perspective only. Practically, how we will be able to correlate in terms of examples, in terms of recent current news items. So there comes the correlation and the current affairs part. The current affairs part plays a very important role in paper 2, Indian geography. One has to be thoroughly prepared because many of the times the questions are going to come directly in paper 2, the questions related to current affairs. Other than that, current affairs is indirectly required in human and physical sections of paper 1. One has to give the context of current events in introduction, in conclusion, in examples that will make your answer better. Sir, one of the challenges aspirant face and specifically with respect to geography is to manage resources. So, there are lot of study material available for geography optional. So, what study material or what resources should student refer for geography optional? Yes, I can say for geography optional, there is an ocean of material. So among all these available sources, the most important ones which one has to focus, of course, at the basic level, NCRTs. One has to cover that before they start the actual optional preparation. For covering these topics of paper 1, paper 2, one has to refer those comprehensive sources which gives in-depth understanding as well as a wide coverage. We need to ensure a fine balance here. In that context, most commonly referred sources are Savinder Singh for physical geography paper 1, for human geography, Majid Hussain and R.D. Dikshit are the commonly referred sources. And for Indian Geography, Khuller or Majid Hussain. These are like standard textbooks which one has to refer. But in addition to this, one has to ensure that there is a current updation. For current affairs, one has to thoroughly go through the newspaper on daily basis as well as one monthly comprehensive magazine like Down to Earth or even our new initiative of Planet Vision covering the environment topics. In addition to this, Yojana and Kurukshetra will add value particularly in Indian geography. And then PIB summary covering the ministries which are related to geography. This one has to ensure that there is a current updation in both human geography as well as Indian geography. Sir, one thing that you mentioned was deep understanding of concept and it becomes very crucial for an optional subject like geography. So, how should 
aspirant develop that deep understanding of geographical concepts? See, one has to always start with the conceptual part. Without understanding physical geography, you cannot understand human geography. Start with the basics, start with the concepts, be thorough with that and try to relate practically. You are studying about the tropical cyclones, the conditions required for the formation of tropical cyclones and the behavior. Try to understand the recent changes which are happening. If there is any tropical cyclone in Indian Ocean, in Bay of Bengal, try to follow that news. Whether it is behaving in its normal manner or if there is any change. This kind of practical orientation is very much required and that gives an interest also in the subject. One can use various different pictures, videos, animations to develop a conceptual clarity. In addition to that, one has to be thorough with the theories and the geographical thought which comes in human geography. You know that gives you a philosophical background to the subject and one also has to ensure that they cover the locations and the mapping aspect parallelly with the geographical concepts. So that enables us to remember these important locations, examples, which will enrich our answer. Now sir, coming to some challenges as well as myths associated with geography optional. So are these myths true and how to address these challenges? So one of the important challenge as well as myth about geography optional is that the syllabus is very vast and very wide. It becomes too difficult to cover this entire syllabus. This is the most common opinion of the students about geography optional. So let me tell you, in every optional, the volume of study is same. In some optional, the width of the subject is more, but the depth is less. In other optionals, the width may be lesser but depth is more. Overall, it takes almost the same amount of time. But the problem is, this generation students, they don't have patience. One has to give enough time for optional. And as I told you, it is going to be there with you for next one or two years for sure. If you give time, it is not that difficult to cover. Geography may be wider, but not every topic requires a too in-depth study. So at the end of the day, it requires the same amount of time as taken by most of the other optionals. Another important myth about geography is that it is too technical and cannot be understood by a student from humanities background. If a student tries to read geography from the perspective of facts and information, it becomes of course difficult. Start with the concepts. Try to understand the concepts clearly develop a clarity in that, try to correlate with the reality, the facts and information will automatically follow. You do a systematic study, it is not that technical. The third important myth is regarding scoring. As I have told you earlier, every optional is scoring. Every optional will have their own toppers. It is a myth again that UPSC will focus on few optionals and target it. Okay, so to discourage students from taking that optional, that is again a myth. You do a systematic study and prepare the subject thoroughly. Anyone can score well in geography. So now coming to means, if content is the king, then answer writing is the queen. So how should our aspirant approach answer writing for geography optional? So there are two aspects to answer writing. So one has to do this on daily basis along with their preparation. Let's say you have prepared a topic on plate tectonics today. Pick up the questions which have been asked on the topic of plate tectonics from the previous years and try to write the answers. Try to understand the demand of the question and write the answer. So this daily answer writing practice will enable a science background student to become more expressive and an arts background student to become more objective. 
it will orient you in the direction as required by UPSC. Otherwise, you know, you are just reading the subject and becomes too detached from the direction which is required. The second aspect is mock test. Once a candidate has completed the entire section or entire paper, he has to give the test from exam environment to attempt the questions in the exam environment in three hours. So that will give you the actual perspective towards writing in time bound manner and also within the word limit. So this kind of practice will enrich the answer over a period of time. Sir, what are the strategies the student can use to score well in specifically geography answers? In geography optional preparation, there are three stages. In the first stage, a candidate will give a comprehensive coverage of all the topics and develop a conceptual clarity. After this, in the second stage, when a candidate starts his revision, as well as writing test series, it is in the second stage, one would realize the gaps in the first stage. Through this revision and answer writing, we will try to fill that gap. In the third stage, one has to do value addition in terms of current affairs as well as in those areas where there were lacunas. Only with this stage by stage preparation, a candidate can reach from 250 to 300. And in this, the answer writing aspect involves certain special focus areas. For example, first aspect is correlation of geography with the other subjects, which we have already discussed. That intercorrelation has to be shown in the answer. Even in case of physical geography, one has to bring the correlation of human geography. If you are talking about the world geography, one can bring the correlation of Indian geography within the context. In physical aspect, one has to show the environmental economic aspects also. And in all of this, one should add current affairs. This kind of intercorrelation will add value to your answer. The second, the examples, facts, as well as case studies. This will enrich your answer because geography is a subject which is theoretical when it comes to the principles. How do we make this subject practical? With the help of examples, the facts. One has to make a compilation of these facts and numbers from standard sources and read it multiple times so that they can remember this and use this in the answers. So this will definitely enrich the answer. And the third aspect is adding figures and maps. See every subject has a way of expression. And geography's way of expression is through maps and figures. According to me, in every answer, one can add a figure or a map. And one has to practice this before writing. If you practice, you will find at least a figure or a map in every topic of geography. And that will definitely give you an advantage over others. This is how you get an edge over others through answer writing practice. So now, sir, coming to the services Vision is offering for geography optional. So what are these services? How are we helping students get an edge over others in geography optional? So Vision is, is providing optional geography test series, which is already going on. This is targeted towards those who are appearing for mains 2024 and those who have already taken coaching and those who wants to enrich their answer writing. In addition to this, this year for the first time, we are launching optional classes. And these classes are going to start from July 16th. So where we will be dealing with this subject in a comprehensive manner for any student from any background. For more details, one can enquire at Vision AI's office. Thank you so much, sir, for guiding our experience. 
any final tips for those who will be appearing for this year mains or those who generally want to start with geography optional so i hope i have cleared some of the myths associated with this subject and also brought some clarity in the way one has to prepare so in my honest opinion geography is the most practical subject and most relatable subject if you do a systematic study you will definitely fall in love with the subject the way i have fallen in love with this subject so for those who are appearing for mains this year so please focus on answer rating aspect and also bringing the current updation i wish you all the best thank you very much thank you so much sir so aspirants i hope you have a now good clarity about how you should approach geography optional and if you want to follow more about the classroom program for geography optional please visit our website and those who will be appearing for this year mains all the best for your exam thank you